Taurus, this is Soul, and Taurus, we're going to take a look at your weekend um, regarding love and relationships on uh, the 28th, 29th, and uh, 30th, 2022, October, yes, pre-Halloween. I hope all is well, my fellow bulls. Uh, so this week I'm using, well, I'm back to using the Victorian Romantic Gothic Tarot to deliver your uh, messages, and um, in this particular deck, I still haven't had the time to check to see if it has two devils, but I know it has two uh, lovers, right? So uh, with that being said, uh, we're going to look at some energies for Taurus, suns, moons, rising, singles, Venuses, <laughs> you know, same-sex loving energies, couples. Uh, just, you know, take a look at the uh, energies here for you regarding your relationships. Then I'm going to be throwing some cards from the uh, Lips Don't Lie uh, Oracle deck to see what your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions are of you. And then also throwing some additional cards from the uh, Love Oracle cards. Now that energy can go both ways. Your thoughts and intentions towards your person or the thoughts and intentions, feelings towards you from... Um, yeah, your person, okay? So let's get underway here. Um, I'm only selecting five cards, and um, to make things a little bit shorter here, I just will, you know, the card that is selected, I will talk about that card. I'm only pulling five, and then um, that should be sufficient enough energy to see exactly what could be going on with the uh, relationships for Taurus this weekend. All right, messages for Taurus. All right, three good cuts here, Taurus, and let's begin the messages for you. <clears throat> Oops, okay, we'll take that. All right, so the first card in this energy, we're going to begin with the uh, Knight of Pentacles. That's your own energies. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles here showing up, um, even though it represents your energy, you may not be dealing with someone who is of an earth sign, but they're not being um, responsible here. They're not being reliable. There's someone that uh, you cannot depend on. Um, usually it's the uh, energy related to, now I'm just staying focused on love and relationships, but you know, money may be a problem that, you know, you may be dealing with in terms of, uh, you know, your partners, your relationship or whatever, but uh, this person is not someone that you can, um, place your trust in, uh, and that's interesting. So the Knight of Pentacles here represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Vir Virgo. Next up is the Five of Swords. The conflict may have some sort of link to do with the uh, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Trying to, uh, you know, compartmentalize some sort of energies here for you. Also, this is being, uh, you know, the Knight of Pentacles being a court card. It could be somebody playing mind games with you, Taurus, here when it comes to your relationships. Always get that with the Five of Swords. Could be some sort of external conflict going on where you know you have family members and your friends messing around with your relationships or they're trying to inject some sort of energy into your relationship um it's interference this is basically what i'm seeing interference five of swords here is uh air gemini libra and aquarius then we have the seven of wands seven of wands here uh actually this was in the um upright in previous readings here so i'm going to be uh fair to you and read this in the uh upright so the five of swords here is about decision making and trying to get things and your thoughts together uh your logic logical mind together when it comes to your relationship so whatever you come to in, in terms of arriving uh, when it comes to uh, making decisions about your relationships you stand your ground this is the stand your ground card because if you don't you succumb to your own energies or the uh, energies of the external uh, factors, family members, friends, or remo uh, romantic partners, then you end up with a regret. That's the Seven of Wands. All right, so Seven of Wands is Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Up next is the Knight of Wands, another court card that's in um, a very favorable position. This is a card of um, how fast a relationship could take place. It could just be uh, explaining the existing relationship. Some of you may be dealing with actual fire signs again, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This card is regarded as intermediate attraction, so it still would be passion uh, involved. Some of you may be experiencing some uh, great deal of intensity or a passion and attraction uh, when it comes to your relationships, whether you're in a uh, partnership or not. You could be single, 
And this person still could be uh, that person that you make a new connection with. Also, it's the rapidness of how fast the connection would take place with the Knight of Wands. Okay, so passion, intensity, sexual energy, sexual attraction. Uh, fire again, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The last card for you is the Hermit. Some of you may be going into Hermit mode. Um, thinking about your relationships, it is part of your energies, but specifically Virgo. Uh, having to go within. Uh, some, of, some of the energy could relate to deep thinking and trying to come to some sort of resolve when it comes to your relationship. It does mirror the... Um, uh, Knight of Pentacles, which is your own energies, where I have mentioned that this is somebody here who is unreliable, not dependable, uh, and not trustworthy. So it may have something to do with the hermit as well. Having to, um, you know, think about your relationship if you are currently in a relationship and how the relationship is evolving or not evolving. It could be for those singles out there as well, just going in. Uh, and trying to determine, um, you know, what's the best course action for you if you want to enter into a, um, you know, new relationship because it is favored through the uh, Knight of Wands. All right. So the Knight of Wands uh, is favored in terms of new connections, possibly. And the Hermit is just really neutral energy for me. So it's just, you know, downtime. It still would be downtime, alone time, me time. I don't want to be bothered time. Uh, but you're not going to stay in that mode for, um, you know, for the entire weekend. Maybe it's just something that's going to be the start of the weekend and trying to figure some energies out since we have the challenging energy of the five of swords. All right. So um, shadow energy here for you is the emperor. OK, you're going to be in control no matter what. You have the moon, another major arcana. Wow. And then the five of cups. So I've been... Uh, Choosing three shadow energies to complement these readings here. And this is going to be the situation that I push forward during the uh, general weekly readings. I'll just be drawing three cards. So the Emperor here is the Major Arcana. This is a very powerful card here, uh, Taurus, when it comes to your relationships. Because uh, no matter what's going on here with you, um, leading up to your, re uh, yeah, leading up to the weekend involving your relationships this here is just an indication that you're going to be in control okay if the uh, emperor were in the uh, reverse position then it would be that you're losing control and then you're starting to uh, do some form of manipulating okay but it's not it's in your favor the emperor is here you're going to be in control uh this weekend the moon is deeper uh revelation secrets may be revealed somebody who may um you know, uh, express to you their um, deeper love for you and, and whatnot, okay? We have the court card, the Nine of Wands. The moon, when it shows, just like the Seven of Cups, is always that expression of going deeper into expressing them, you know, yourself or themselves to you. Uh, but it's a very good card. So just pay attention also to your intuition when it comes to your relationships. That's important. Making sure that uh, because of the moon has the tendency to, you know, take our emotions up very high and then also to uh, take our emotions down very low. So we want to strike a balance when it comes to our emotional state of being. Uh, so but I feel that the um, most part that the. <laughs> Some of the euphoria may be coming from from the expression. Now, of course, this is your reading, Taurus, but you could also be uh, delving into your emotional, um, you know, energies here and expressing yourself towards, you know, partners that you're already committed to. Or it could be that you reveal your energies to somebody that you have a like or crush on. OK, so this um, moon here represents Pisces. Um other water energies, Cancer and Scorpio. And I forgot to mention the Emperor is Aries. And it also represents um, Sagittarius and Leo. So we have the Five of Cups here. This is a card of disappointment, being let down. It may not be your energies. It may be that, you know, um, some sort of, you know, temporary sadness comes in. We have the Five of uh, Swords also in your uh, original spread here. So anything could be happening um, with the Five of Cups in its presentation here because it may be based on the Five of Swords. Also may be based on the Knight of Pentacles that is also in the reverse. Somebody disappoints or lets you down. Remember I said the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that is not trustworthy. Someone is not reliable. Somebody is not dependable. And so um, this very very well may have something to do with that connection. All right, so the Five of Cups here represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. That is your shadow energies to accompany your general reading here. And uh, let's get into the uh, Lips Don't Lie. And this is 
basically the thoughts and feelings and intentions of your person. Okay, let's see what's going on. The message is here for Taurus. And this is just me interpreting the cards here, Taurus. You know, by no means that this energy here will, you know, play out for everybody. I always tell you guys to take what resonates and leave the rest alone, right? Okay. All right, so let's begin pulling some messages here from this deck and see what they say. Mask, this one here says your person is keeping something from you. They are not revealing their true self to you. This situation is chocked full of secrets. Trust your intuition to determine whether what's hidden is negative or positive. Okay, don't forget we have the moon here in your shadow as an influencer. Uh, the next one up here is uh, free will. This one here says this, is, this situation requires both parties to understand that we, we all operate off of free will. The only person you can control is yourself, right? The emperor. Never try to force anyone to do anything they don't want to do. All right. Next one up is uh, stars. This one here says the stars are aligned in your situation. This is a destined connection. You two were at the right place and time. Everything happens at the right moment. One more and I'll read the shadow for you. And this one here says betrayal. Someone may betray your trust or break a confidence or promise. You may find that your person was in it for themselves all along. Put nothing past no one. Things done behind your back may be revealed and cause you pain. Shadow energy here for you, Taurus, is friendship. And this one says uh, your person thought they could survive being only friends with you. They are now understanding the error of their ways and are starting to develop strong romantic feelings for you. Okay, that's the moon's influence again. All right, so that's what I have for you from the lips don't lie. Let's get into the uh, love oracle messages here to see what they want to add to your messages here, Taurus. Interesting energy. And keep in mind, too, that the uh, lips don't lie could be just the energies that you guys need and may not have anything to do with the general um, and so forth. All right, so here we go. Uh, this one here says self-indulgence. It says focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Uh, the next one, I don't know how these cards end up in the uh, opposite. I've turned over. But this one here says uh, love call. This one, uh, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Okay, that would be the moon again. The uh, next one is the snake. This one here says com competition, enemy, uh, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Oh, third party. Yeah, third party energy. Shadow energy here is mirror. And mirror says here, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflect our wounds and introspection. All right, so this is what I have for you this week, uh, Taurus. I wanted to make these readings quick and to the point, just to take a quick look at the um, possible potential energy that may open up for you uh, regarding love and relationships. Um, and so, like I said before, you know, this is just me interpreting the cards here. Take the energies that work for you and leave the rest alone. Uh, whatever you do this weekend, uh, Taurus, uh, be safe, be well, keep smiling. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Uh, until I talk to you soon, take care. Bye.